Hello there, Premier Manager fans. Welcome back. It is Premier Manager 99, episode four. It is a Man United playthrough, and I'm billing this one the injury crisis slash tri triple, treble, triple, trouble, gauntlet. That's not easy to say, and I'm not recording it again because it won't get any better. Let's have a look at the problem we've got now, though, in the minute. Phil Neville, broken leg, 25 weeks. Ryan Giggs, torn hamstring, seven weeks. Hamstrings in your leg. Um, David Beckham, broken leg, 32 weeks. Nicky Butt, fractured leg, three weeks, and he has been out since, like, episode one. I don't know what these guys have been doing or what my coaches and staff are doing with these guys' legs, but they need to cut it out because we are in danger of two things, okay? We're gonna have a look. Actually, we're gonna start with the most important. If we have a look at the training, I'll tell you what, we have contracts is the best thing to look at because that shows the stats. If we go all the way down here, to Jonathan Greening, 20 years old, 27 months remaining, 20 pound a week. His intensive training regime is working because his passing has gone up from 56 to 57 because I've been monitoring it. Okay, maybe that's not important, but it does show that something's happening. Are we ever gonna get him to two full stars? Will someone ever finally buy him? Who knows? These are the questions that, that may sadly go unanswered. Um, Jasper Blomqvist has turned into a goal machine and he's absolutely carrying me in Giggs's um, hamstring injury absence. Now I did tell you I was gonna be bringing you back for the semi-final of the League Cup. And we did, technically I did record that, but I'd, I'd left my mic off. Um, so there is lots of footage of me very animated, but it's completely mute. But we have pulled ourselves back in to the title race, the championship race. So I was six points behind when I started playing this evening. Blackburn have been on a bit of a skid and they have now lost two games in a row, which has allowed me to catch up. Even though I only drew uh, one of them, I drew with Leicester, despite being down to 10 men, because my guys love a red card, um, as you have seen. So we are back in that. Blackburn 52, Man United 52, Everton 51, Sheffield Wednesday 50, Leeds United 50, and there's probably too many teams for Middlesbrough to really be considered in this, with only, what is that, nine games left? So, Things to think about though, something that I found interesting that I learned today, Blackburn Rovers actually got relegated in real life in this season, but this year they're absolutely tearing it up. And Blackburn Rovers are who we are gonna be facing here on this episode in the League Cup final. So we have never won the League Cup on the, on the, on the channel. Uh, and we've never won the Champions League or the Super League. And unless I turn over a 3-1 uh, defeat away in Kaiserslautern, we will not be winning it. So at the minute, the only treble I can win is the diet version with the League Cup instead of the FA Cup. But we might not even be getting that at the minute. So we're going to go into this free game, uh, this free game spell. Bought myself some time by not being in the FA Cup, by exiting that early. So, you know, tactical genius. But we're going to go Southampton. I think it was away, wasn't it? Try and get some pressure on Blackburn at the top. We're then going to have that second leg against Kaiserslautern. And then we are going to go into the League Cup final and see if we can get our hands on the gloriously shaped League Cup trophy with its free handles. Now let's have a look at what Southampton are doing. Paul Jones in goals, Klaus Ludekvam, John Beresford, Scott Marshall, Richard Dryden, uh, midfield of Matthew Oakley, Stuart Ripley, Matthew Letizia, and Carlton Palmer who I frequently see about, about real life, goes to the same supermarket that I sometimes go to, because I can't always afford to shop there, which probably tells you what type of supermarket it is. Um, and then Egel Ostenstadt and Mark Hughes. So that's a good that's a good forward line, that is. Um, Ostenstadt scored in the infamous Man United grey kit game, didn't he? So let's have a look at their match rating first. Oh, 56, 69, 69, 67. Seems a bit harsh on Paul Jones, that. And let's have a look at what we could do. So, despite my um, issue, well, despite my issues, despite spending so much money on him, I am going to rest 
Ronaldo because I want him fit for the League Cup final and I want him fit for the second leg. So I'm gonna, somewhere down the bottom here is Andy Cole, or Andrew as he's, as he's become preferred in latter life. Um, Popescu gonna leave on the bench. Sheringham, he's not been doing anything. I'm gonna leave Solskjaer there because Solskjaer is getting a lot of goals from right midfield. Um, as long as he doesn't break his leg like everyone else. I think we'll be all right. Paul Scholes there. He's not, you know what? I'm going to drop showing him into midfield. So I've got two strikers playing um, out of position. We've got John Curtis there. I'm going to leave him there because at least last I looked, Neville, yeah, Neville's on an 85. The last change I'm going to make is I'm going to bring in Gianluca Paoluca, flawlessly pronounced um, for Schmeichel. Because again, I want Schmeichel for those more important games. Do you know what? I'm not done tinkering. I'm going to take Nadell out. So he's only just come back from a broken arm. So there we go. Can a much changed Man United team still get a win away at the Dell? Blomqvist. I've noticed that they sell a Blomqvist version of the Pro Star pointing the wrong way. The Pro Star's um, figures there behind me. He's doing so well that I'm going to buy one. Oh, Carlson, how can you how can you betray our shared loyalty club points? Um, yeah, I might buy one and kiss him on his gloriously sized forehead because he has turned out to be... I know I didn't sign him, but he's turned out to be a brilliant signing. He'd be on for player of the year at this stage. Um, people would be like, why did you spend so much money on <laughs> Ronaldo when you've got Jasper? So, tell you what, 70th minute. They took Jasper off, not taking him off. I did, I didn't even mention this. I've signed Gary McAllister to try and help with all of those injury issues. I am going to bring him on for Oli Solskjaer there. And I'm going to bring on Andy Cole. Come on, Andy. Do something for me, please. You've still not got a goal this year. And I'm trying. Oh, there we go. Suka. I like to imagine Cole's passed that through to him. And Suka has just smashed that in. So, match day 30, 2 1 up cruising haven't had to talk about changing kit ronnie johnson's got himself needlessly sent off because it's premier manager 99 and people love to get sent off on this and there's no way of being like ease off the tackles lads uh, we've got a very important um series of fixtures coming up but there is the first point the first part job done away at southampton i'm not even going to let carlton palmer's betrayal really get to me there's an important one coming up kaiser slouten i will show you this very quickly and um, we're still on the two thousand pound a week uh, wage bonus but we're still making a decent amount of money because i've spent quite a bit here on the new four thousand um uh, capacity that i've got coming up in 33 weeks and we're also moving to luxury facilities i don't know if that's in-game facilities or training facilities i will need to have a look in the manual which i've left upstairs in the living room because that's what constitutes reading for me, apparently. Few fixtures. Kaiser Salton is Sunday. We've got them on Wednesday. Then we've then got... That can't be right, can it? We've got a premiership game, then the League Cup final the day after. I did say it was a gauntlet, but I, I wasn't even including that. Not in Forest. I'm, I'm, I'm unusually disgruntled about that, considering this is a video game. So let's take out Gianluca Paoluca. Let's bring in Schmeichel. Ronnie is going to have to come out. Miguel can come in. Um, and do you know what? I'm going to risk Neville. So I'll leave Curtis on the bench just in case. Popescu is a bit fitter. Skulls is an 87. I'm going to bring... Am I going to? Who have I got here for? I mean, I've got sharing him, haven't I? I was like, why have I got an extra midfielder than I was anticipating? And that's why. Let's put Popescu on the bench. If he needs that, he can float over to the right. Um, Jonathan Greening, not ready for this. And let's get Ronaldo on here for Andy Cole and then Ronaldo in here for Dwight York. Who has hit a bit of form finally, as you see he's moved to five goals. But let's have a look at our opposition. What have they got? 80, 76, 79, 81. They've got a decent team, haven't they? Um, 
Sicario Svorza. How, how did you pronounce that? He was the Swiss player, wasn't he? It's come back to me now. Axel Ruse, he scored in the first leg. Let's have a look at ours. So 80, 74, 70, 92. So we're, we're being really hurt without Giggs and Beckham on those ratings. And like I said, we lost the first leg of this 3-1. So ideally, we need to get a goal and not be losing by halftime. Neville picked up a booking straight away. Nadal in there with a booking. Hopefully he doesn't double fault. Erwin feeling left out. Come on, David May, you might as well kick someone. Oh my God, this is going dreadfully, isn't it? Right. Not going to get that goal before half time, are we? I am going to make a change at 50. I'm going to bring on Berg. I'm going to bring Berg on for Erwin. So I can't, I can't risk having that many defenders. Come on, guys, we need to do a goal here. Oh, Roy Keane, what are you doing? Ronaldo, though, has got me a goal. Do you know what? That's it. I'm gonna, I am gonna take Suka off. Get Dwight York on. Am I gonna bring Popescu on? I'm gonna bring Popescu on for Solskjaer. So we've got another midfielder in there, and then I'm gonna spin. Pescu into the middle. Oh, they've scored. That is the end of it. Pavel Kuka made it 1-1. It's 2-1, two, two though. Giving me a fool's hope. Can I get a third in injury time? I cannot. We are out of the Champions League. Sorry, Man United fans. Sorry, Sir Alex Ferguson. I have let you down. Blongfist, come on, mate. That was prime for you. I've been bigging you up this episode. And then you go and don't score a goal when I'm desperate. So we are out of the Champions League. And for some reason, we've got a league game, then a cup final. Can you imagine what a modern manager, one of the ones who Klopp, Guardiola, the guys who get annoyed by <laughs> fixtures, um, what they would say about this. So let's get... As many guys out that I'm intending to play tomorrow as possible. And I can't believe I've just said that sentence. So Erwin, at this stage of his career, he's not going to play. Where's Brown? This is your chance, mate. So yeah, I was going to say, he's not going to play back to back. Am I going to play Jonathan Greening? I've possibly got enough players to avoid that, haven't I? Ronaldo off, Suka. See, I don't even want to play Dwight York because... He's someone that I'd had in contention to be playing in the big game. Paul Scholes is never fit, so he's he's coming off. Let's put Petrescu. I do I I am. I'm gonna put Jonathan Greening on the bench. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six players not available to me. So much changed lineup. I was gonna say like Solskjaer. He, tell you what, I'm doing it. Because Solskjaer, Solskjaer is technically my starting right midfielder at the minute. He's not gonna play today and then also play tomorrow. Also think of the logistics. Are we are we staying over in a hotel? Are we staying in are we in Manchester? We are in Manchester. Are we staying in Manchester after this game? Let's have a look at Foresto. Um so Pascolo uh, Luis John Bolina, John Howlge, I could never pronounce that, Steve Chettle, Christian Edwards, Steve Stone, Chris Bart Williams, Ian Wohn, who I referred to as Payday Loan before, uh, and then Pierre Van Hoydonk and Doogie Friedman. So it's not a fantastic side. We've only got 49,000 in attendance, presumably because some of those people have had to already start traveling down to make sure they're there for the cup final tomorrow. So thanks to you, thanks to the 41,000 who are here, but we're one nil down to a Dougie Freeman goal at home at Old Trafford in the title race in the week we've gone out of the Champions League. And Des Little has just spun on for someone, so they've obviously had an injury. Andy Cole, this would be a, a prime opportunity for you to stop disappointing me. And as I'm saying that, he gets himself sent off and then Chris Bart Williams has scored. But I've got Jonathan Greening right there. Let's put him up front because, you know, what, what does it matter? Oh, God, look at the look at their yellow cards. 
I cannot believe I'm losing. They've had a red card now. Is that going to give me a chance? It is going to give me a chance. Teddy has scored. That is his first goal of the season. Jonathan Greening has scored. Jonathan Greening has scored for us this season on an episode. And I'm about to be delighted with a 2-2 draw at home against second bottom Nottingham Forest. They have brought Dave Besant on. Let's get rid of my face because I feel like we need to see this. They have brought Dave Besson on, who will be like 41-year-old goalkeeper, Dave Besson at this stage, up front. And here I am moaning about my problems. I feel like it was worth having that game just to see that from, from Dave. Probably pretty good in the air, given his, his, his height and his leap. I wonder if he ever played up front now. Look at that. So despite that, um, it's we, we have gone ahead of Blackburn, but we are now behind Everton. But Jonathan Greening has got more premiership goals for us in this playthrough than Andy Cole has, who probably got 15, 16 goals that year, didn't he? But let us go to a bonus fourth game of the fourth episode. So let's have a look at Blackburn. So Flowers, Kenner, Callum Davidson, Christian Daly, Marlon Brooms, midfield of Umar Kunde, Andreas Buck, Gary Flickcroft, who scored past us in the highlights reel, Tim Sherwood, and then the industrial forward line of Kevin Davies and Chris Sutton. Be leaving us Schmeichel, Neville Irwin, Nadell, Nadell, Mr. Muddled his names up. Um, Miguel Nadal, Henningberg, then we've got the midfield of Blomqvist, McAllister, and Scholes. Um, do you know what? Yeah, let's get, I've just seen, let's get McAllister out and let's get Popescu in because Popescu has been a mainstay of our side this year. And then Blancvist. So here we are, guys. It's the League Cup final and we're playing for this lovely out of focus, even though I focused it before coming on, trophy that we have never won on the channel before. So that's what that's what's important. I've also somehow managed to put Pagluka in midfield. So some of you will have spotted that as I was prattling on there. I don't know how I've done that. There I done. Now I do. Let's put him in number 13. Otherwise, I'm going to get confused again. So I put him in instead of Pepescu. I've not seen what Forrest had done with Dave Besson and thought, that's a good idea. Goalkeeper playing outfield. That is something a bit more like a team I would hope would hold their own even against Blackburn Rovers, who are now faltering. It's 20 minutes in and we've got our, our customary two, two bookings. Not had a shot on target yet. They've had three, three shots for on target. We've had five shots, one on target. It's going to half time though. It's still nil-nil. But when I say stuff like that, the opposition normally score, but we have managed to avoid that curse so far. Now I am getting nervous about Davos Suka getting sent off already. So I'm going to give him to the 63rd minute and then I'm going to hook him for my boy Dwight York, who's very much back in my good books due to all the goals. I'm not going to hook him for Dwight York because Dwight York's not even there because of the because of the bench numbering again there's only three subs in the league cup final and it doesn't rem remind you of that prior to starting the game so i've started a league cups final with a goalkeeper and two center backs or two defenders but it's still nil nil oh, because chris sutton has scored and there we go we're out of the champions league we're out of the fa cup and we're about to lose the league cup final 2-0 and gary flickcroft has scored again i feel like why do you hate me gary um maybe i should just buy him so he stops scoring against tim flowers has had a 10 of course he has I'm actually generally a bit annoyed about that. So there we go. That is sadly the end of the episode in which you'll see there is going to be no treble this year, children, I'm afraid. Um, but there's no league table because we've just played in the league. We do have a choice. We do have a choice. We do have a chance at this. So we will be back for the fifth and final episode with three games to go over the season to see if we can get a trophy or whether we will have taken Man United's most successful team um, in history, one of the most famous sides, the English sides at least, of all time, added Ronaldo to it and then got absolutely nothing for that. Thank you very much and I'll see you in episode five.